What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Nintendo Direct was today, and we got announcements of games that we'll be getting across the next six months. The first big game was Grounded, which was an Xbox exclusive, showing that Xbox is ready to expand past their console. Here are some other games. Enter Magnolia, Unicorn Verlite, Monster Hunter Stories, Disney's Epic Mickey Rebrushed, South Park Snow Day, Sword Art Online 5, Gundam Breaker 4, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Rumble, World Goo 2, Another Crab's Treasure, and Peniment, another Xbox exclusive for shown. A great direct from Nintendo. Also today, we got the trailer for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. The game showed off what seems to be an even bigger world. It showed off new monsters and characters. It seems that there is a main boss that looks like she is related to Millennia. The Earth Tree was shown and it looks better than ever. There were scary monsters to fight and new weapons to get some monster blood on it. The game is set to release on June 21st, 2024. Let me know if you guys are excited about it or are you going to download it. When Sony bought Bungie, the world thought it would have more backup than ever. That doesn't seem to be the case because the big bosses of Sony aren't happy with Bungie at the moment. They are very upset and want more accountability for the development budgets and schedules for the studio's leadership. As independent as Sony has Bungie under their umbrella, they want to make sure that they don't just promise but also deliver. Hopefully Bungie can turn this around for themselves before more layoffs happen. With all the controversy that Blizzard has been getting with their latest update on Overwatch Season 9 champions, things just keep getting worse. Now you can one-shot snipe people by aiming at their shoulders. Damage dealers are taking over Overwatch 2 because the hitboxes have grown, and the sad thing is Blizzard hasn't mentioned a thing about a fix or a nerf coming to the game. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. And Charlotte has been a big surprise this year alongside Power World. Yesterday they hit 2 million players, and those players are asking developers for a lot of features to be added or changed. Changes to certain mechanics like longer night cycles, lanterns so players don't have to hold a torch, and a lot of do-it-yourself things they want added to the game. And Shrouded was also an early access game, so we will have to wait and see what Keen Games has lined up for us. Phil Spencer got to speak with Gamefall about a lot of the worries going on around Xbox. Phil Spencer got to speak to Gamefall about a lot of the worries going on around Xbox. Phil brought up the whole topic of Game Pass and how they intend to bring Call of Duty to it. Everyone's been wondering ever since they bought Activision and Blizzard when they were going to start doing this. He also mentioned that Xbox is still going to be making physical media and not everything will be digital for them. I think he's handled the pressure pretty well the last few weeks. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Tekken 8 has updated their Season 1 roadmap. The second update we will be getting is with a collaboration and a new Tekken Shop feature. This is the idea players were upset about because the game will be introducing microtransactions. When the third update comes along, we will be getting the Tekken World Tour Tournament 2024. Tekken just keeps getting better and better, and we will have to wait and see what else they will bring to this already packed video game. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm.